What is up, guys, and welcome to Visual Wood, episode ninety six. Right, right, dude. I'm right. getting nervous. Like we we've not done a single second worth of discussion about whether we're going to do anything for a hundred. Um, what are we going to do for a hundred? I wonder. I know. Has that crossed your mind? Um. I think we have to ask ask the people. I think I think we have to ask the yeah, people. Yeah, but they're just gonna be like face come, face come, face come. <laughs> what about something else? What have we done as special shows? We did didn't we do a special show on fifty? Um no? mm, a show on fifty. We're kind of boring. Remember... We didn't really do we did a special sixty nine, right? Not much. Every everyone remembers the sixty nine, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which doesn't feel like that long ago to me, but must be apparently. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Wait, that's like 10 months then. Four episodes a month. That's crazy. I'm pretty low energy today. Yeah, yeah. It seems like it seems like up. yeah, it seems like you need some coffee, some uh some visual coffee beans. Vis- visual your mouth. coffee beans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what does that even mean? So, I got a nice glass of water. It's uh, cold and it's refreshing. Well, I'm running out of water here. So if I if I my voice starts cracking, you know, you know what happened. So what what, what have you been doing? This week, what wait, has wait, been wait, going? What do you think of these ideas? Twenty-four hour visual wood stream. What do you think of that? Twenty-four hours visual wood. Mm, I'm gonna have to say that would kill me. Yeah, but me um, I have done, <laughs> I have done seven hours easily multiple times. Bro, we did like seven hours, eight hours just this week. Yeah, we did like six, about six hours. Yeah, doing the right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get. I was streaming for like an hour or in a, closing on two ish before you joined on, and then we were together for like ages. Easy, we busted that out. Not a problem. Yeah, we just need uh, we just need to get some uh, some some elitist hardcore guys. Yeah. Yeah, we should have been more elitist. We should have kicked more people. Yeah, and that's what people were telling us, right? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I have the heart to do that. I'm like, um, sorry, um, Johnny, but look, you're not, you're <laughs> not, you're not going for the orange, oranges. You need, you need to peel those oranges, Jimmy. And you're just, you're just not doing it. Oh my god. <laughs> you just, you're just not doing. It. Why are you, why are you down so many times, Tommy? I feel bad for that necromancer man. No, no, it wasn't necro. His name was Creeper. But oh, why are you calling someone out? Like, you you said Necromancer. Calling. You're calling him out. Well, no, 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 no. I was just talking about the Necromancer that was going in Reaper Shroud, and we thought he was downstate, but he wasn't. He oh. Wasn't Reaper Shroud. oh, I just... Um... <clears throat> That's right. Wow. We'll edit. Where's we'll that guy watching? Hey, he, knows, he, knows, he knows I still... We, we still got love for him. He knows. Really? He knows. You're talking about kicking him. I'm not saying... I, I didn't say that. Hey. Well, look, the nice thing about the internet <laughs> is if we had kicked him, it would have been fine. It's like... Oh yeah, because yeah. the internet is naturally mean, right? Yeah, yeah. and and you know, is you can easily just ignore people you don't like. Send you an angry message, block him. <laughs> Boom, there you go. Amazing, amazing. Um, so what else have you been doing? Have you has well, it been I've just been a boring week? A lot of people on YouTube this week. On YouTube, what does yeah, that mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been muting a lot of people on YouTube. Oh, you said <laughs> muting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, no, I said blocking, but to me, it's the same thing. I've been going mental with that feature. I'm wondering. I'm doing Dude, a little bit. Of an it was it because of the uh, the raids it, around that time? It started spawning the the crazies. No, for, for me, it's been law based stuff mostly. I mean, there was a lot of really questionable raid rate like comments on the raiding stuff yeah. that I don't agree with. But people generally, I can see why someone might have a different opinion or something. But like, I got accused this week of um, some guy. Like, he first he just left like a mean comment. I was like, oh, you're a bit mean, and I I like lashed back at him. And he came back at, with like some bizarre, insane response, like being like, none of your speculations are legit anymore. You obviously just, you, you present all your theories as facts. Um, you obviously just know all this secret stuff from that shaman and data mining. And like, it was like full on, like oh, raging no. conspiracy theory guy. And I was like, at first I was really offended and stressed out and annoyed by the comments because I was like, I, I can't believe I'm giving people this oppression. This is, really sucks. I just want to talk about something I have fun with. And I was like, this, this is, this is lame, man. I really don't like this. And then he responded with that, and I was like, oh, he's just a nut job. Okay, <laughs> like it was. Uh, and then I made the decision really easy. I was like, all right, blocked. <laughs> and I joke about that too. It's like, oh, oh, you think you're always right? And joke like, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I didn't. I hope he didn't hear me. And he's like, yeah, that's truth. I hope someone not. just, someone yeah. just asked me, are we talking about the Reddit thread on the Exalted? This, no, no, no. I'm not talking about this. This is something completely different. This has been coming up a lot this week. The, so currently there's a Reddit thread as well where they revealed the, like this race that 
was widely speculated to be the Mossad actually um, wasn't the Mossad. And someone left a comment being like, people only believe this because Wooden Potatoes, everybody's a raging fanboy and they all listen to him. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, everyone well, was saying Well, some are, this, so but yeah, me. go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, look, people, <laughs> some, we are some critically minded are. folks. And it's like- yeah, that's, that's, with that's, every fa that's, with, that's with every fan base, but yeah, I mean, sure. It, it, it's not everyone though. I, 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 some people just they're they're very envious. Um, you know, envious is a nice word. Yeah, it's a nice word. It's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> we're, we're, we're we're going dark right in the beginning of the podcast, but it, yeah. And sometimes it's best just not to read the comments, even though you get your joy from the comments, but you also get like stupidity in the comments. Aneurysms. <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 like almost dying you know choking on, on yourself all yeah. the, 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 oh, the troubles of making videos yeah but oh, yeah look, i've got some bad news for you this oh, week oh, okay okay i never watched any more gotham i just i just don't think i've got it in me matt i i didn't watch it either so i know you never watched it either but i thought you'd be proud of me for getting into a comic book tv show what can i say yeah but not the one i tell you to get into you told me to get to Flash. I gave it two episodes. You did. You never told me that. Yeah, I did. I gave it two episodes. And you didn't. You just didn't. You just didn't care. End of episode two. I had that badass fight in that hallway. Remember, where he's like wounded, but he's fighting. You just you. called Daredevil Flash. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my first, god! First, first no, Deadpool sorry, the podcast is over. This, thank first you, guys. Deadpool, you, and Matt now, guest. and now the Flash. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Guys, I haven't seen any of the flesh. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can carry on anymore. Oh. I don't know if I can carry on anymore. Um. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't figure I'm tired, all right? That's all it is. <laughs> can't, I can't carry on anymore. <laughs> Anyways, um, anything other than uh, bad YouTube comments in your life going on? No, not really, man. That's pretty huh? much my life. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. What have I been doing? I have been... Oh, I've actually got a story. I've got something pretty interesting. Ooh. And I wanted to throw this out at you. I All think right. it's pretty interesting. All right. Do you remember um, last weekend? Was it last weekend? Or the weekend before that? When uh, they had, like, when Arena Network at TwitchCon, and there was, like, loads and loads and loads and loads of news. Like, basically the no most news possible that could have come out. Where they would did the release trailer for the game... And just, you know, it was just hectic, right? You remember that weekend? Yeah. Well, on that weekend, I, uh, I, I did a video on Saturday. I can't remember. On the Saturday, maybe I didn't do a video on Saturday. I think I might have had something prepared. And then on the Sunday, I came on the stream, uh, on the stream that I run, and I was like, oh, yeah, guys, I basically missed most of the information. Everything's been really hectic. Everything's been terrible. Things have been hectic. Uh, I, uh, I wonder whether you have any ideas as to what happened that weekend. Why oh. I was so hectic, why I missed everything, why I was super stressed out and like totally behind on stuff for a long period of time. All Do right. you have any guesses maybe around that weekend while TwitchCon was going on, what I would and potatoes might have been doing? Well, any I don't know much about your real life. You always give me oh. little, 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 uh, little bits and pieces of... Oh, I work out every day and I go somewhere around this time or um <laughs> that has nothing um, Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I figured. And <laughs> and um um that's pretty much it. Oh, I have a brother. Like that that's ba basic so there's no way I'll be able to guess other than like Carrie wanted some alone time. That's the only way that All right. the only thing All I right. can guess, really. It is what is the last thing you'd guess I was doing? The last thing, cleaning. <laughs> cleaning? Oh my, what is this impression? What is this? I'm in a clean ass room right now. Oh, I'm a lot tired, you know, yeah? Oh, I did. Some, something for real, something for real. What do you think the really unlikely thing I did? Uh, we'll see. Um, it can't be eating pizza because you do that all the time. Can't be wow. eating Wow, look, this is, just, if this is just, if this is just um, insults, I'm out <laughs> Um, okay, okay, okay. What? Nobody's guessed it in chat either. Uh, eating a potato. Wow. Um, I don't. I don't. It's, to be honest, I don't know much. So much right, right, that right, I can right. guess. Yeah, go games. ahead. It's to do with games. Oh, 
Oh, you're playing. You're playing something like that you wouldn't normally play. Really? No, no, no. It's a bit. It's, yes. Yeah. Kind of. Okay. Except not at all. You were outside. The intent was to play something <laughs> I wouldn't normally play. You were outside playing football. Oh, sports. All right, you're close enough. I did go outside. I went to a gaming convention. What? What? Yeah. What gaming yeah, convention was that? EGX in Birmingham, which is a, a, like a fairly long drive away from where I live. All right, so you didn't do this alone, so who did you do it with? I did it with um, a couple of friends and one of my brothers. And we went, we went, we went to Wait, EGX. Wait friends? Yeah, friends. You have, you have enough time for friends? Yeah, well, not really, no. I don't really know them very well, to be honest. <laughs> but still, this is what we did. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. uh-huh. So This is the first convention I've been to in a long time, okay? And the only other one I've been to was one that was in, like, London or something ages ago. I've got to say, dude, it was probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had. Okay, so how packed was it? How? It was awful. It was oh. packed. It was heated. Was it, was it, a, little, it was a little smelly? A little bit? No, no, no. It didn't smell. It oh. didn't smell. That's didn't just smell America. Theo at okay. all. And it was fairly clean. Okay. And they did. They had some nice food there. But this was basically get in the car, drive for hours and hours and hours, pay an extortionate amount of money for a ticket and for parking. The mm -hmm. ticket we'd already bought, of course. Queue for hours and hours. To, well, not hours and hours, but queue for ages. Stuffed in around loads of other people, really tightly jammed. Some of them were, you know, kind of interesting. Most of them were basically exactly how I'd imagine, you know, many of us like internet gamers are, you know. Mostly over... Well, actually, to be fair, there were a lot more like really buff looking people or like really attractive people there. Right. But still, right? Like it was mostly just packed in. Like, like you watch a video like this. I'm watching the video I've got in the background. As if, all right, as if this is like the typical experience. But basically, my day was waiting around to get there, mm. waiting around to get in. And then when I got in, I was like, cool, what should we do? And we kind of had a bit of a wonder. And um, everyone I was with wanted to play the new Halo. Right? What? Fair enough. Want... All right. No, that's fair what enough. Boring people. Okay, huh? Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know, I know. This is a total bro gamer console world we're in right now, okay? Right, right. They wanted to play Halo 5. I'm a pretty big Halo fan too, and I was sort of okay with it. Um, and I don't think they quite appreciate the fact that a AAA title like that is going to have a big queue. Yeah. Like a big queue. Absolutely. And so I was like, at first they were like, all right, let's queue Halos to it. And I was like, all right, wait, 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 wait though. We got there kind of late anyway as it was. It's like, look, we got like six hours or so before it shuts. Let's have a wander around first and see some other stuff. So we have a bit of a wonder. We see a few of the different things, the different games that are available. But basically, it's just wandering around, cramped, looking at TVs, right, of games and people playing games. No real chance to have one-on-ones with devs. No real chance, you know, and this is England, right, as well. So, you know, mm -hmm. everyone's antisocial and horrible. So we're all just wandering around. Uh, we go to, like, the adult section. I'm like, oh, yeah, that game exists. Oh, yeah, that game. Uh, it was really weird. The Yogg's cast had a panel. The most interesting yeah. thing. Of the entire EGX was the fact that the Yogs, there was a thing to meet the Yogs cast. Wasn't there a Guild Wars they, 2 thing there as well? No, no, no. There was no Guild Wars 2. There was no Guild Wars 2. Oh, they were they in were a trailer. Which, Interesting. Which was going. Grouch so, was so like, from a, from a professional standpoint, I was feeling kind of bad because I wanted to be back. I wanted to be working, right? But I'm like, look, I've got to take some time. i got to do something for myself every now and then. So, look, let's just do this. And so, and so the, the most interesting thing was like the Yorkshire cast thing. And like, not that I was getting a queue in line for like an hour just to have them sign something, you know, around all the 13 year olds. It was really interesting seeing who was queuing as well, like the demographics and stuff. But it's kind of, you know, I've seen a lot of their videos and it's kind of one of those cool moments where you meet someone in person. And so anyway, like we wander around and eventually they're like, okay, let's do something. I said, look, I know you all want to do Halo, but to be honest, Halo's coming out very shortly, all right? I know this fact, because Halo comes out basically the same day as Half-Thought. You did a, we a WP in real life. Well, you no, 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 right? In I real like, life, like, convincing them you? not to go see the game that they want to play. No, 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 that's not what happened at all. That's not what okay, I Okay, so okay, uh -huh. I was like, look, I was like, look, Halo, we can do it, but look at that queue. It's a AAA game. We're going to be in there for ages. We've only just got here. We've had a bit of a wonder. You're going to be able to play in a couple of months anyway. Just think about this, all right? These conventions are one of you lot's only opportunities to experience virtual reality, to experience the Rift, the latest development kit version of it, to experience some, fir some first-party games that have been created for it. I was like, look, it's a really cool idea. It's a great experience. I kind of want to see what the next 
uh, the go the next goggles or whatever like, goggles. I can't believe I just said that. The next head mounted display is like, <laughs> check it out. Let's try this. The so bro we gaming go, is wearing off on you. Uh huh. So we <laughs> we have um there there's there's the Vive is there the PlayStation is that the PlayStation Ooh. thing I can't even remember. So no, no 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 so that's the that HTC uh Valve thing. Valve, right Valve yeah yeah headset. so. Yeah. So, so these are, and, and then there's the Oculus, right? The, the latest dev kit of the Oculus. And I, I'm like, I, look, I'll, I'll go with what I know with, all right? I've got a bit of that fanboyishness with, with Oculus at this point. All right, so look, look, let's just pick this one. And so we're queuing. The queue looks dramatically smaller, but what we don't realize is these are basically indie devs that are trying to give the people who get on it the best experience they possibly can. So it, they had like five demo stations set up and people who were on it were allowed like 10 to 20 minutes on this game. Right. And they were indie devs as well. So the game to look at, now I know for a fact, right, you don't need a graphically amazing game to be able to experience it in VR and have a really cool time, right? Like you don't need it to look amazing, right? I mean, that's always a plus, but even just export like one of the best virtual reality games I ever played was this stupid little indie maze someone had made and ghosts pop out at you and it like looks so terrible to look at on the main screen but when you get in there it's incredible um and so I know the gameplay doesn't look that great but I know it's going to be a great experience but who am I with Matt who am I with I'm with with console gamers right right pro dudes and uh <laughs> pro dudes um and they and we're waiting pro in queue dudes. and we're waiting and an hour passes and another hour passes and then it's about two and a half hours into the line, and we've got maybe a third of the line left, a third of the queue left. And I desperately need to go to the toilet. Like, I'm dying. Oh, it's no. So I'm like... Like, oh, wait, what type of toilet now? Are we, are we talking about a wee? Number one, number one. We're, going, we're talking about number one. Okay. But, like, desperately needing a number one is pretty bad, in my opinion. You know, like, it goes away for a little while, and then it comes back. Right. Right? Are you like circling people? You think with me? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just I, I like the awkward, cringy moments where someone's just like, "Oh, there's a camera." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Um, so I need to pee. So I'm like, "All right, look, I'm getting on the line. I look, I'll just sneak back in. It's fine, and we'll be all right." Like I've queued. The people behind us know that it's fine. I'll just get back in line. So I go off. I can't find the toilets for ages. I finally come back, and at this point, they're all dead. I've obviously gone like, and I was the main one that wanted to do it. They weren't even that interested in the first place. So it just breaks oh, down. So after no. two and a half hours of queuing, right on top of the huge drive and everything to get in there, right near the end, they're like, "Look, this game looks crap anyway. We're not interested. Look, you swap out." They're like, "All right, you can get in the line." And I'll get out so that nobody has anything bad to say. And I'm going to go queue for Halo. And then everyone else is like, oh, well, I want to go queue for Halo as well. So we end up leaving the line, basically. We're like three hours in at this point because we had a bit of a half three, hour walk. Three hours in what line? In uh, no, Two and a half hours lining for this VR thing. Oh, okay. Jeez. Jeez. That is a no-no for me. Uh -uh. All right. Wait, it gets worse. It gets worse. All right. Yeah. It's like three hours or, or maybe a bit more left of the con. Right? We've driven all the way up here, dedicated the entire day, got up early and everything. And it's like, all right, so let's do Halo then. And so we get in line. And Halo, the line for Halo takes the rest of the convention. Standing in line to play Halo 5. That's gonna Why? come out in, in that's gonna come out in basically less than a month. That was the exp that was it. And I didn't even care that much about it. In the end, we all wanted a couple of beers, we wanted something to eat and drink, and I wanted to see more of the convention. I ended up like leaving the line of Halo eventually. Not 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 like in a moody way or anything like that. It was literally just all right. We can get some beers. We can sort some stuff out. But they'd moved on by the time I got back. Like the, there were so many people at the Halo line. So you know we just passed that on. And then they went and queued. And I was like, well look, I'm just gonna go see what I can find. I saw a little bit of cosplay from a Batman in Dark Knight outfit. And that's basically it, mate. That was my experience. Then they got on. They played 15 minutes of Halo because they got to play one matchmaking game. Mm. And that was it. That was it. The convention was closing at that point. We bought a couple of shirts. We went home. Long ass drive back. What a waste of a day. What a terrible Conventions experience. Conventions are are not something you just... It, you have to be going there for a purpose, I would think. Uh, the couple of conventions I've went to, uh, I've went to PAX uh, when uh, um, Guild Wars 2 flew me out. Uh, that was cool. Uh, I got yeah. to, you know, I got to meet some people and stuff. Like I got to talk with Total Biscuit. Like, you know, you get to meet YouTubers and stuff um, through Polaris. And then, but that was made awesome because of the indie section. I got to play so many indie games that the lines were, you know, just like a couple people in front of you. 
you had to wait like yeah. what, like ten minutes the most, maybe maybe twenty if it's a oh, huge game. Dude, this video you're playing, mm. you see that food and bar place it's showing and the rock band and stuff. Yeah. Right. This is literally just to the left of the camera right now is the cue for Halo. Yeah. Like a hundred percent. Like that's the cue for Halo right there. <laughs> I that's never right wait. Today. I never, I never wait in line. There's like no reason to wait in line. Well, you couldn't do anything here then. What would you have done? I can't imagine anything you would have done. I walked around it. It was just queues everywhere, dude. It's, everywhere. It's all about like the people you're with too, man. You got to have fun with the people. Like if you're there by you yourself, fun. waiting in lines, that must be the most boring thing ever. Unless it's like Kingdom Hearts, like something, something like you really, really like, and you just want to, just you just want to caress it a little bit. Yeah. And you, you, you wouldn't mind waiting nine hours in a line to do. Like, maybe. Dude, and the feet as well. In the end, like at the end of the Halo line, they were all sat down. Halo? <laughs> like, Halo for a Halo, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halo 5, yeah. Halo, Halo. was just so such a basic thing. Like, what enjoyment... What, <sighs> the enjoyment that you get out of it is not going to be worth waiting in line for the whole convention. Absolutely not. Anyways, whatever. It's just the most, like, so basically I can summarize my experience of that day as queuing. And as I got in Damn. the car to go home, I, I, I mean, it was, it was annoying because there was so much I could have done that was productive back at home as well. It was <laughs> like I gave myself a day of leisure. I gave myself that. Mm -hmm. And I felt terrible for it. I mean, it was okay. It was nice to have Well, some you coffee. got to go nice outside, to you man. Get some fresh air, you know, like put it's some tan on your skin. Look at that hole. That's not fresh. Dude, it's, it's fresh in there, dude. Look, it, looks, it looks better than an American. Uh, you see, it's a bunch of uh, clean oh, the, people. The, I'll clean. tell you what was really cool, that TIE Fighter is in this video. That's amazing. I'll tell you what, that TIE Fight was huge. And there was some like life, there was a life-sized, uh, what was it? It was like a tarantula coming out of a wall or something. There's a lot of cool stuff there. There was. There it is, the tarantula. Yeah, I see it now for Warhammer. Yeah, 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 yeah there you go. And that was cool. It's, it's different seeing it on a video. When you're actually there, you're like, whoa, the scale is huge. Yeah. That's why VR is going to be so cool, by the way, guys. I mean, but, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. It's it's it sucks that you didn't enjoy your first outing. That means you'll never come out your house again. But what do you, you think? Know. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just. Awesome. I mean, Maybe I, I agree with you. I them. went to Dragon Con, okay, and all I had to do is take a train down there, which I mean, it takes like an hour or so to get down there and to Atlanta. But like it, it was just too congested for me, man. Yeah, this is why I wanted to bring it up to you and ask <sighs> you about it. I wanted to blow your mind that I'd actually left the house, but I also because you go to a lot of cons, right? Yeah, a decent amount, decent amount. MomoCon, Dragon Con. I went to SGC. I mean, I know that they're local, but and you've yeah. been to a PAX. And I went to PAX way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm about to go to Magfest as well. This, this. Uh, but this so you you get enjoyment out of these things. Um, it's because of the look people I'm with. People just stood here. They've been look at it. It's because of the people you go with. It depends on the co the conventions. All conventions are different. Like you're getting something different out of it. Like Dragon Con, a lot of people would like it if they're, um, if they want all they want to do is see cosplay or all they want to do is play Dungeons and Dragons with their friends in, in um, in front of a live audience on the panel. Or there's little rooms where you can meet people and do geeky stuff like play board games. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff. That it depend. It, there's the right con for everyone, I would think, and for, right. like for and what me, what was it? Who was this con for? I, I don't know, dude. I've never been to this. I didn't know it was this huge. I've heard of it, but I've... Yeah, it was just, massive, dude. It was I, huge. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, people here. This, you see those crowds, though. You see those people, right? It makes you think that it's busy, right? And there's a lot going on. There's not. They're not doing anything. Just, there's, just just a lot, there's just a lot of loud music, people walking, and people standing and waiting for games. That's all it is. It's mm. literally a queuing the convention. Oh, my, my gosh. A, a wooden potatoes adventure. You should have recorded it. I should have been there. You would have enjoyed it if I was there. Look at this guy. This, this guy's so small. Yeah, go ahead. I didn't. I. I mean, with the comment. Yeah. I. I look. One day, Matt, we'll be at some. We'll be at some real cons together. And you'll, Trust you'll, me, you will enjoy. You will enjoy it. You. You yeah, enjoy. But it. I'll Put also the camera on. It'll be gold. Be like. <laughs> I have stuff Some that I, I just never edit it up with just me walking around with a couple guys. It, it's you. You make it what you know. The, the convention is what you make it and. Yeah, you you just you were there with a bunch of console gamers who's just it's just like it's just like when I when I when I like okay you're a mono gamer you're like man you don't you don't know how to experience the outside world what's going it doesn't on even the thing is right <laughs> it wow a mono gamer is now someone who's you're not really a mono gamer though you just play Guild Wars two a lot more than you play other stuff 
Yeah. It, it, the honest. other th the thing is, right, like, you c we can call the guys that I was with console gamers or whatever, just because they were excited about Halo. You know, so uh, two of the guys I was with there are massive Fallout fans, like ridiculous Fallout fans. And, you know, they there's stuff for them probably there. But, you know, it doesn't actually matter whether they were console gamers or not. It just so happened that there's so much queuing, you basically get to experience one or two things the entire day. And it's like, take your pick. Yeah. Unless you're super into the small indie stuff, I guess. The small indie stuff is probably the best there. But be I remember, I remember seeing someone was playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles, all right? I, I knew exactly what it was. It was freaking like Emerald Hill Zone from early on in that game. Um, and they were, it was like the bit where it all turns to fire. There's a moment halfway through the level. And I saw them playing and I stopped for a second just to watch from the side. Because whatever, right? Even that area, old games, game I could be playing at home with my feet up, a beer in my hand, and you know, a fan blowing on my face. All right, mm -hmm. naked. Or, or the I crotch, the crotch fan is always good I as could, well. <laughs> yeah, right. I could have been doing that, but no. Instead, I was in this stuffy convention that I'd driven in a car hours to get there for, and there was a queue. There was a queue for that. And that's why people like us stay home most of the time. <laughs> I try to go. I go out every week, so you know I'm forced to go out every week because I gotta I gotta take care of some stuff. But like, you know, it, it's it's one of those things. I I kind of I'm kind of the same way. I just rather stay home, to be honest. Unless the wife is just like, we need to go out, <laughs> you know, and like, okay, you sure. Thing, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a little date or something like that. As long, as, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Well, well. There's my story. Ho 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 hopefully. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> random guy sorry guys on soundcloud random guys are are waving at the camera and it's really awkward and it's, <laughs> it's probably it's really funny um it's the awkwardness is always so juicy to me it's just like uh that uh um queen jenna uh jennifer hale when she was cooking on that guild wars yeah, 2 live stream show. yeah 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 dude that was the that was the best thing the views went up when she was on the screen man all right Cap <laughs> commander shepherd dude cooking food man that was brilliant. Mm -hmm. I I wonder. I really wonder if she was she she knows that it would be cringy, or she's just like, like the classic like. Oh, yeah, some I people wonder. might like I this. What she's like. Yeah, yeah, I wonder. I, I mean, cause she, you know, how crazy she was. Not crazy bad, but crazy she was during when when she when for people were first introduced to her. Um, during what was it the the hot, the hot expansion, announcement? Yeah. It was the yeah. announcement, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was the announcement. Yeah, it packed yeah. south. So I wonder if like she's just like oblivious to people thinking that she's very cringy or what she. Doing either either way, Arena Net would be oblivious too, right? Because they seem to love her and they seem to, you know, that she wouldn't be doing they the cooking have thing. To with know, them. I mean, but she wouldn't be doing the cooking thing with them if they hadn't made good friends and they were just like totally in love with her, you know, relentless enthusiasm. Right, 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 right. right. But. Good stuff. I would, lo I would love to meet her and say, dude, thank you. I If, if the camera's on ever, if I visit Anet again and she's around, I'm totally going to ask her that question. Like, without a doubt. I'm like, Jennifer, uh, well, you're going to call that dog, are you? You're uh, going to call that dog. Yeah, 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 for sure. I, 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 br I bring it down to make her feel very comfortable around me so I can just, like, uh, you know, ask her the rough question without it being, like, personal, you know? All right, listen. You would call Jennifer Hale dog. I don't think you've ever called me dog. I called you dog. Like, have you? Have you called so, me dog sometime before? during during the the past few years that we've known each other? I'm pretty sure. Probably there's been a time. Yeah. But you're not you're not a homie until I call you a dog, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Jennifer I mean, just gets in there straight away, right? Get straight straight away, man. Straight away. She's she's Commander Shepard. I mean, come on now. It, right Shepherd. that's what that's that's what people do right as soon as you have some fame all of a sudden like the, the panties flow off right and wow. I, I don't mean that literally i mean that like <laughs> like you, you basically you let them do anything um <laughs> which is which is probably what's happening now with guild Wars. <laughs> anyways wow. anyways um ooh, 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 guys you mm. Um, um, when WP says dog, it's like a Nazi saying it. <laughs> to pronounce it dog. Is dog. that better? Yo, what's up, dog? It, it has to come natural. Like, I don't even know how I say it. It comes, dog? like, very your natural. Do your dog, you want to record something? I could never naturally say it. What's up, dog? It's like I when I was young and I, I, I used to try cursing and it came out so weird out of my mouth. Yeah, and my yeah, uncle yeah. would laugh at me, like, 
Like, what do you? What, don't curse, dude. <laughs> no curse. And that's why I never curse. It's because my Carrie, uncle said you sound stupid cursing. Carrie and I have been playing a bit more Final Fantasy twelve. Just a tiny little bit, right? A tiny. But bit. in that, in the, in that uh-huh. game, there's these Moogles that, uh, and the Moogles in that universe. Moogles are cute, fluffy little like bear creatures in Final Fantasy series, right? For anyone who doesn't know. Anyway, in Final Fantasy twelve, at the end of all of their statements, they say. Oh, hi, I'm a cute little Moogle, Kupo. They always say Kupo, K-U-P-O. Yeah. yeah. And so we were playing a game where uh, when we were talking to people, we just held a normal conversation, but then every now and then we'd just be like, so how's your day been, Matt, Kupo? <laughs> like, just just see how long till people catch on to the Kupos randomly coming out. <laughs> and it's so hard to make it sound, like, natural, Kupo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder how the voice acting would be for that. Has it voice acting ever... No, they've ne- that's the thing. They never voice acted it, so I have no idea how the Moogles are supposed to sound. Kupo. I actually wondered, ba- wondered about that as well. Is it is it supposed to be like, oh, I actually wondered about that. Kupo, po, Kupo. Oh, and then, like, they get, whoa, what are we watching? Um... I've been playing Transformers Devastation. Oh my god, I, yeah, I saw you did a video on this, which I haven't clicked yet. You can put um, it Transformers Devastation is by uh, an, another duo with Activision and Platinum, right? They're the same guys who do Bayonetta and um, Bayonetta, Metal Gear Rising, Vanquish. I, oh, I still want to play Vanquish. Um, and... I don't know, like, in A Legend of Korra, of course, is what the one I reviewed. And Legend of Korra was pretty basic and just not polished at all. The ending was super hype and probably the best part of the game. I remember um, you, you, were, you were fairly positive about it on your review, if I remember, right? But What? What, for Legend of Korra? No, yeah, I was yeah, not yeah, positive. Yeah. I was in positive. Um, really? I, w- I, yeah. Some people would like to say, like, oh, it, you know, I just wanted Legend of Korra and for them to fight, and that's all I need. And like, that's fine. That's that's totally fine. I'm not like that. I kind of like a little bit more in my game. I kind of like it to to actually be decent, you know. And not to say Platinum Games is always like because it seems like they they're reusing the formula over and over again type of thing. Um, and this is kind of no different you know it's it is just the way they do it and the moves that they make it's it's pretty dang hype so i end up what i end up doing like for especially for the video i put it on hard mode just to show like the satisfaction of the when a game is built properly um hard mode should be beatable right if you yeah, yeah, if you has should be yeah if you have the basic if if the game is made properly, you'll be able to overcome hard mode, right? Yeah, by it learning be the by game. Overcomable. And yeah. then maybe you can have a, a difficulty above it that's like totally insane, but you know. Yeah. Hard should don't. And some and some people are, you know, are just not built for hard mode. They just don't they they can't grasp it. You know, I've you met those people, the people who barely, you know, they, they play on their phones and stuff like that and they just want to come home and play a game. You know, they they don't they don't want anything challenging because they just won't get it. Like the the people who miss platforms in Mario, you know. So, mm-hmm. but um, you know, for people who play games like this, this this was incredibly satisfying. And I, I like fighting the boss. There was a part where I had to fight this boss, and you had to dodge at the correct time, or you'll get half of your life, half. It is it is ridiculous. So throughout the whole fight, um, it's either you repair using your inventory, um, which I never did because I just I don't know. I don't want to waste it on on. I don't want to just like I want to use it when I really really need it. You know, like I feel like on the first boss I should be able to defeat the boss and in turn learn how to play the game properly by keep dying over and over again. This is one of those games where you you'll keep getting shoved in the face. Until you, you figure out how to block it. Quickly? Um, what do you mean? Well, it's. I mean, it doesn't matter if you. I, I feel like it's not so bad if when you do die, you can just get back into it really quickly, and try again. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, it's pretty decently incrementally. Quick. Yeah, it's pretty okay. decently quick. Yeah, yeah, like kind of like Super Meat Boy and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, there's a big component of it. Like, what does dying mean in that game? You know, if dying means going back twenty minutes versus dying. No, back, no, it, you start minutes. right at the boss. No. Okay, no, yeah, that's pretty good though. Oh, no, no, no. That would be terrible. I, uh, this looks really cool. Yeah, it, it's um yeah, there's a 
many different combos you can do with the smash attack. There are a couple, uh, a few different Autobots to, to play with. They have the original voice actors for um, a lot of the robots, uh, especially like Optimus Prime, which is one of the most important ones, and Bumblebee and, and, and Smokescreen. Um, uh, but uh, it, it there's something about the feeling... Like, for instance, I learned I, I by defeating this boss, right? Uh, eventually, I defeated this boss. I Obviously, I cut it um, eventually. And then when I went back to normal, it was easy, like almost kiddish. And really? that feels so cool to – Yeah. You, you, you have that muscle memory for the game already, and you the, key, the game keeps introducing you new mechanics, and you just learn them and learn them, master them. That even normal is just like baby easy. Like you cannot die. That's really cool. That means there's a lot you can climb, like skill wise, right? Yeah, because you 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 know you know you you can't you can't uh, get hit basically in hard mode, because your life is gone. And like, yeah. You know, and there's only so many repair kits for all the newbies out there who tell me to keep using repair kits. I'm not using repair kits. I want to learn the <laughs> game. Like <laughs> like look, you didn't even use the repair. Kit. Listen, listen. I want to actually learn, um, because when I that ultimate boss, there's always the ultimate boss in one of these games, um, and it's ridiculously hard. And I don't want to get to the, I just want to have stacks and stacks of like repair when kits. You, you when okay. I get there, and but when I get there, when I get that boss down to low health, and all of a sudden I mess up and I flub it up, and it's like no repair kits. Now I have like a <laughs> twenty billion. You know, that I can yeah, that's the, the thing. I feel like there's two types of people when there's ammo in games. You either just use it as you get it or, you know, systems like that. Or you've got the people who save it for the very end so they could just spam the crap out of whatever they want for that final encounter. Yeah. And you think you're going to need it. it it's, 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 what, it's what happens in uh, Final Fantasy, does it not? Like you save all your, your all Phoenix your downs. Yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. The good old I days. I specifically, the old Tomb Raiders are like that as well. Like It's like, don't use any of your med kits. Save all your ammo. Save yeah. it, save it. Yeah. So you can use it. And then in the end, you've just got all this stuff that you don't even need. <laughs> right, right. It depends on the game. It always depends on the game if it actually you need to do that. Do you really, really need are to do Are you pretty that? confident you need to do that on this? Um, I think it's Ooh. more, I think it's more I just... I just want to. Uh, you get satisfaction out of it. Yeah, I get satisfaction without using it. Um, I mean, I'm playing on hard mode. Like, <laughs> like there's a reason why I'm playing on hard mode. Okay, it's not to reuse repair kits. It's to. It just looks so cool. It's it is really good. It is really good. Once you actually get used to it, you get some cool combos going, and um, there's lots of cool mechanics to like stun the boss that you have to learn. Um, as long as it's not like Legend of Korra where they just keep repeating bosses, it's the same boring attacks over and over again. Oh my gosh, Legend of Korra. Um, anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this, this was, this was cool. This, this was definitely cool. Um, I haven't finished it yet, but I definitely will finish that. Well, um, I think I, uh, I, after this podcast, I'll have to go to mattvisual.com and check out your video. <laughs> there is no mattvisual.com. That's why that's funny. MattVisual.com. I always do that on TOVG. I always, oh, really? I never plug myself. They force me to, but I, I, I never plug myself. I'm like, oh, I do makeup tutorials. Um, I, it's an often joke that every time I go on someone else's podcast, uh, I say, oh, yeah, so I'm Matt Visual. I do makeup tutorials. Um, uh, for <laughs> video video game uh, um, uh, characters. Uh, uh, last week it was uh, Princess Peach, and this oh, week yeah. it will be Daisy. Um, next week it will be Zoe from uh, Left 4 Dead. Uh, so right now we're gonna have to apply a foundation under the eyes. Um, what about what about what about Daisy from Mario? I said Daisy. I said yeah, Daisy. I thought you said Princess Peach. Yeah, and then I said Daisy. Oh, I thought okay, that must be why I had Daisy. <laughs> okay, sorry. yeah, 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 yeah. You're not you're not listening to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, all right, I. I I've been playing a few indie games, but I definitely want to talk about. A movie, okay. Oh, God. Have oh, you God. watched Please. Jurassic Park? Yes, I've seen Jurassic Park. Are, no, no. Oh, sorry, Jurassic World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean. The newest one, the newest one. Yeah. So you have. 
Yeah, I've seen it. I'm pretty sure when I, I saw we it, talked, I was like, you talked you about it. it. I, I feel like you did talk about it. Right. Okay. I don't remember what you thought of it, but let me just tell you mine. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Do I want to be on the edge of my seat or do I want to be really far back? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember what you, uh, I don't remember what you said. Um, no, so, no. Uh, wait, wait, are you, are you, are you liking it or are you not liking it? I, I, I actually was okay with it in the beginning and I end up really not liking it. Like Ooh. really not liking Ooh. it. Oh, for once I'm not being the negative one. Um, okay, so it was cool eye candy, especially the end. The end was very, very entertaining with the, the the eye candy stuff. But, man, the plot made no sense to the point that it aggravated me. Okay, there's a sense? point in the movie. I, I mean, is this really spoilers? You obviously know Dude, people are going to die. portion to the wind. It's old. It's been out for almost to, a year now. Obviously, people die, right? So there's this part where people are just getting slaughtered, and it's just like... And then people that are like, I don't know, like side characters, just the way it was shot and done, it was so brutal. No, 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 it's been a while was... since I've seen it. You're going to need to give me more specifics. Okay. There, don't you know, there, there's a British woman that dies. You remember? No. She's what? barely in the movie and she just gets slaughtered. The poor girl. <laughs> like, like, it just makes you feel so icky. And not in the good way, Icky, like, oh, I'm supposed to feel that way, like Breaking Bad? No. It's like, just like, just just open season, d people just getting horribly murdered. And I guess it's supposed to be bad, but it doesn't fit with the movie. And then the, 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 the story, guys, the story is super facepalm. I'm not going to spoil it if you guys want to see it, but... Why, why was facepalm about, though? Everything! It makes no sense! What it makes, makes no sense. sense. Like this is taking this is taking place, this is taking place in a world where they already had a problem. There, the the the, the T Rex in part three was it part three or part two? It was part it was two. Part two, the Lost World. T Rex mm -hmm. was loosed loose on on um on on, on the city on, on on whatever city it is. Probably New York because it's always New York City. Um, probably not. Um, and uh, everyone died and stuff like that. And and they they uh, established that in the movie, and like instead of instead and and the guy knows what happened before he experienced it. He owns the company, and yet he's instead of killing the monster, he lets it loose. Something that faked his way out of the. Oh, I'm spoiling. Man. Out of the, it, it, it escaped <laughs> in a very smart way, in a very smart way. Okay, it's predictable though. The bit you just it's, it's very just... Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It, obviously, he escapes. Obviously, and he just you no. Know, we're just gonna let him loose. Two twenty thousand people, and it's just so stupid. It's an excuse of a movie. It is a cash grab, and All the right, human well, story question, is Matt. is so badly done. It was okay. Okay, I'm not hating too much. But it you, was you it was a pretty bad movie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna right, lie. I'm sorry, you, guys. Let me ask you. I'm usually okay with some movies, except for Franken Frankenstein, whatever that movie was. That oh, B movie. Oh yeah, I Frankenstein. I Frankenstein, I Frankenstein was still bad. <laughs> All right, let, let me ask you a question. <laughs> okay. You said this was a cash grab of a movie, yeah? Kind of. Do you yeah. do you know the top five highest grossing films of all time? Oh God. Do you know them? No, no, I don't. But I'm pretty number sure one. Jurassic War Jurassic Park is on there. I'm pretty sure. No, number one, Avatar. Number two, Titanic. Number three, Jurassic World. Bigger than the Avengers. Bigger than Harry Potter. Bigger than Frozen. Bigger than Lord of the Rings. Bigger than Transformers. Bigger than Fast and Furious. The Dark Knight, all of it. Toy Story. The Jurassic biggest World. crash grab I have ever seen in my life. Oh, even Chad agrees. Biggest crash. Yes. Oh, but yes. Yes, Sold spicy. <laughs> yes, spicy. The only time I was enjoying myself is when Chris Pratt was on there. When he was on the screen, I was totally fine. He I was wasn't like, even that great, I was though, like, I mean, you... to be honest. Well, I mean, what are you going to do with a crappy script? What are you going to do with that? He's still for for me, I still enjoyed him as a character. It doesn't matter like it doesn't matter if Bruce Willis is a is is a, a good actor. I still enjoy him on the screen. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Like okay. I, I've seen. There's a lot of uh, Denzel Washington movies I've seen that weren't particularly good, but I still enjoyed it because 
he was on the screen. All right, that... let's focus. Let's focus on another part of the story, like what they did with the Raptors. What do you think of that? And I... Chris Pratt's role specifically. What do you think of that? I, stuff? I, that's what I liked about it. Yeah, that's that what was I liked all right. That's right. what I liked about it. Yeah, that's the only thing I liked about it. Like, 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 there, there's, there's something I want to say, but it, it's spoilers. It, there's a point of the, uh, all right. Um, there's a point in the movie where someone takes over, right? <laughs> when something brutally happens, okay? And you're like, how can he do that? Like, what is this nonsense? Like, it just keeps going. He's evil. With he the nonsense. Money. It is, is such a bad movie. Ah, oh, I just wanted to enjoy myself. <laughs> I just wanted to enjoy wow, myself. I can't believe the hate. See, for me. I just because I just wanted to enjoy myself. I didn't care like if it was a cash grab. I just wanted to enjoy myself. Yeah. And so just... why are you getting fixated on the unrealistic situations I'm in this sorry. dinosaur I'm s- movie? I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm asking too much. I'm asking too much, <laughs> and I know it. I know it. I know it. And I shouldn't hate it. I so want much. Breaking Bad with dinosaurs too. Oh, I do. oh can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> My problem with the movie was he's like the chemist. He's still the chemist, and he's gonna make dinosaur crack. Okay, and he's gonna he's gonna it's gonna be poison for the dinosaurs. Can anyone feeling particularly creative? All right, Mm -hmm. edit. Go back to that old podcast where I gave my opinions, and Matt wasn't very familiar with the movie, and then edit it side by side with Matt's opinions while I'm not familiar with the movie, and we'll see how different we were. Because this is like your raw. I wonder. I can't really remember what I said back then. But I wonder, I wonder how it was different. Do you know what I mean? I wonder yeah. whether I hated on it, completely hated it. I don't think you completely hated it. I think he was. You said it was okay. I yeah, think was I think it, that's okay. my impression right now. I think it was an okay movie. I'm kind of like lukewarm. I wouldn't it. have I paid really money about for any it. characters. I wouldn't have paid money for it. Really? No. No, absolutely not. That's something I watch on Blu-ray. I love me. I'll meet some Chris is, Pratt, uh, but damn. But you don't think that this is a better movie to see at the cinemas? Then what? Than at home on a DVD. Oh well, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if I would pay for that experience though. Like, like Even the visuals were nice. The only time that the visuals were not nice was when they were caressing a bronchosaurus, and like the head just looked like something out of like um, it looked. I mean, I mean, it looked as good as it could be. Obviously, you're very close to something. Um, a, a CGI or no? I think I think no. It wasn't CGI. It was definitely uh, um, someone a, a robot controlling it. It's kind of like with the monsters that they use, the practical effects that they use in Star Wars, the new Star Wars that's coming out. Have you seen like the monsters and the people who run Not, them and wait, stuff are like there that? New, are there new trailers and stuff for that? Yeah, the species. No, well, no, no. They're, they're like behind the scenes, and J.J. Abrams is like. You know, it's like, oh, oh we're using practical it. effects. Yeah, yeah, there's a but there's a few videos out there, and you see them like in these suits and stuff, and it looks really, really good. But for some reason, it was really out of place because all the CGI was really good for the for the dinosaurs, but that Brontosaurus Rex scene was Brontosaurus mm. scene. I always call him Rex at the end. Was just very weird. The long neck, by the way, the long neck from Land Before Time. I'm a long neck, little foot. Long neck. Yeah. Find the tree stars in the valley of the great beyond. Oh my gosh, you memorized it. <laughs> I love those movies. We watched it on Movie Club way back. I'm still Did waiting we? for Fantastic Four. Yeah. I'm wait- still waiting for Fantastic Four um, to come out so we can do Movie Club. Uh, by the Man, way. That's going to be a great movie. I'm really looking forward to that. I think Sony have really brought back that trust they needed in the consumers that they can do well with Marvel IPs. I think uh, that's this is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to make a make a whole day of it. Actually, there'll be no video on that day because I'm just going to be preparing for it. We're going to be reading all the comic stuff on Wikipedia for hours. Mm-hmm. Get my popcorn ready. Get some beer going. You know, get myself in that perfectly zen place to enjoy a perfect movie, and it's going to be fantastic, man. Really looking forward to it. Yeah. So so am I. So am I. I I. I... <laughs> It won't be like I will be expecting it to be bad. So maybe, maybe I might enjoy it. Maybe, maybe just maybe. I'll when are you it. expecting Ninja Turtles to be bad? To be bad. And I end up like okay with it, except for more, um, um, Morgan, Mor- Megan, yeah, Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Yeah. Holy mm-hmm. crap, she was terrible. She's really cool. Is she in? Is she in Fantastic Four? No, no. Oh, wow. She would have probably made the movie better, right? Because... I don't really tend to find that I like movies unless they've got Megan Fox in them. Wow. Do you know what I mean? Do you, do you not think there's a lot of people like So you watched the movie when she was a monster and she, she Yeah, yeah. So like these these are my top 10 favorite movies of all time, okay? Okay. Boss Girl. 
Uh-huh. Transformers 1. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whore. Good choices. Yeah. Jennifer's Body. Passion Play. Right, right. The Dictator. Mm-hmm. Robot Chicken DC Universe Special. Mm-hmm. This is 40. Zero, Zeroville. And then at the number one is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Half Shell, which is actually in filming at the moment. <laughs> it's not even out. There's a sequel. Did you know there's a sequel? <laughs> You're lying. No, no, no. There's a sequel. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Half Shell, also known as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, is an upcoming American 3D science fiction uh, action comedy film directed by Dave Green based on the first car- the first movie. It's a sequel to 2014's Ninja Turtles and be- will be written by blah, blah, blah. It stars Megan Fox, Stephen Amell, Will Arnett, William Fitchner, Brian T, blah, 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 blah. It began filming on April 27th of this year. It's scheduled to be released on June 3rd, 2016. Do you want that to be a movie, movie club? Absolutely. Whoa, whoa. Fitchner has revealed in an interview that he has signed on for three Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle films. Well, I'm going to enjoy the eye candy. So um, so we're going to get a trilogy of these. Hopefully get- they, they made enough money so they can make the CGI just like... Mm, mm. Like the, well, you, just you see, as long as Megan Fox is in it a lot, right? Like just maybe with like may, a ripped shirt or something. Maybe they can change the noses back, <laughs> right? And just remove that that ugly like man face that the turtles have, right? <laughs> and just make it like a natural. Well, what is that your problem with it? No, really? no, no. I was I was totally fine. I mean, they look like beefy guys. Like it's fine. Like I don't I don't mind beefy guys. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'd like to see a sequel to as well? What? That new RoboCop reboot they did. Do you remember that? All right, so uh, <laughs> I also been watching Dragon Ball Super, uh, which uh, is pretty decent. Um, I, I think I, I'll pick one of them before we could get to the questions. Uh, all right, okay. All right, all right, well, let me. All right, let me touch. All right, Dragon Ball Super. It's long winded. It's like it. It. It feels. It feels like it's the. It's the same thing I said last time. It's like it feels like it's out of. It's uh, outdated. The way he makes the animation, I'm pretty sure like there's a budget there because the animation is not really that good. Okay, I'm, um, I'm wicking it right now. It's really not that that good, and um, and like the fighting scenes are just not as impactful as they could be. And I I just feel like I feel like if this came out, um, right after Dragon Ball Z, this would have been fine. People would have loved it, and I I think people still like it. I I. I still watch it just because of nostalgia, but I don't think anything else is tying me to that show other than nostalgia, which is kind of sad. The names of these are outrageous. What? Decisive Battle on Kyle's Planet, Goku versus God of Destruction Beerus. Episode 7 or whatever this is. How dare you hit my Bulma, Vegeta's Furious Transformation? Question mark, exclamation mark. (laughs) Sorry for waiting, Beerus Summer. Finally, Super Saiyan God is born. These are the names of the episodes. This is crazy. The universe it's, crumbles. Clash. The God of Destruction versus Super Saiyan God. There's no mood. There's no mood there. There's no mood there. It's fun in games all the time, and it doesn't get serious. Like kind of like where <laughs> where he defeated Freezer way back. Like there's no. It's just. Oh, that's why. I, no, I saw him defeat Cell. Right. I saw the Cell. It. Wow. You haven't watched Dragon Ball Z? Well, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know if I should even recommend it. I. You might as well watch the the bridge version. Well, no. I remember. I told you on a visual wood. We. I watched uh, Goku versus Cell, and right. then he lets Gohan fight Cell. This long winded thing ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the two hour. Yeah, two it's the same point. here. It's the same here. Like it takes. It. It took like a whole episode, to for, for. I mean, I guess that's that's pretty cut down compared. But like whole episode just to move on with the plot, like like the whole beginning, first like eight episodes is is them going to a dinner party, you know, and and trying to keep Lord Barris like from destroying the Earth by feeding him really good food. Like it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, mm-hmm. and 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 it's always been ridiculous. But yeah, it, it it's it's not. Some of it is done right. Like the Vegeta side is really done. Like when the Vegeta is the only thing tying me to the show, really, and nostalgia because really? this is this point. Yeah, you see, it's like Vegeta backstory, and then Vegeta snaps. Like that whole part was just the best thing ever. And then it just goes back to like just like Goku and stuff. But yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying the show. It's not bad. It's just I I don't. 
I don't think it's going to make I, I mean I would hope it would make a lot of money but I, I don't know hopefully it doesn't get cancelled or something why but, would you say if you're not thinking about what I don't know man what so it, what? what is the plan with it it's just going to keep going and going and going I think it's like signed for like a hundred something episodes I think oh listen current. to this reception First impressions of the series' debut episode were mostly positive, with the quality of animation being praised the most. Really? Blah, 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 but listen, that was the first impression of the series. And then it says, The fifth episode, however, received harsh criticism from Japanese and Western audiences, mainly due to its poor animation style compared to the previous episodes and repetition of previously covered events. That's basically exactly what you just said. You're bang on the money. Yeah, but... um. Anyways, anyways, that's Dragon Ball. I I, I don't want to I don't want to mess with people's feelings, but uh, I I'll, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it, but it's it's not like I I have a couple of animes on my back burner right now that I'm watching. Like I'm watching one right now that uh the artist Chad recommended me. That's pretty decent. Uh, something connect, something with a K and connect. I'm sorry guys, I don't know I don't know how to pronounce it. <clears throat> I don't I don't I don't have it up here. Uh, anyways, Heroes Reborn. One one thing, just I just want to say Heroes oh, Reborn God. for okay. all the Heroes fans out there. All right. Oh no! Don't make that noise. Uh oh. Heroes. Uh oh, guys. Should not have been reborn. Ooh. Yeah. How long have you been waiting to say that? I said it on Twitter. Say it again without me talking over you. Go for it, because that's a good line. Heroes reborn should have not been reborn. Okay. Damn. Ooh. All right. All right. Why? All right. All right. It, it's um. I don't know. It's. It's one of those things where it's it's really unique, so I might watch it just because it's unique and it's just something that's not you don't see this on TV. But it's also very bad in the acting and like in delivery, the way it's shot. Uh, it's it's there's there. It's obviously very budgeted as well, like extremely. Like there's a part where basically this guy finds out. Um, this uh this girl's address by playing a game right and he just walks into her house okay uh they're both i think i think they're i think they're japanese right i think they're japanese i don't know so they're I, they're both asian should i just say um so but every every japanese and chinese and everyone has their different they have different cultures so i, I you know just to give you an idea of like i don't know if how uh disrespectful is to just walk into someone's house you know you know uh, he did take off his shoes but it's just really weird for someone to leave their their the door open he walks in like there's a lot of little things like that but he walks in and just creeps on the girl and it's it's, it's a very creepy scene but it's not it's not supposed to be creepy oh, and no, basically really? and basically um he's like um haven't i seen you before and she's like, "Why are you doing in my house?" <laughs> He's like, "I found <laughs> I found your address in this game." Um and he What do you mean in a game? In the in a game he plays. He's an expert and fam- a famous gamer. Um and he gets kicked out. He comes back with a comic book Whoa. that looks like her, right? Um again, it, wait, wait, Heroes wait. is a very just... weird show and I kind of like it for it, but it's just it just wasn't done very well this time. Um But you are you telling me there's a there's a show where someone can be an expert gamer and find a girl just because he's a well, good gamer. Well, this is this, this is the way it is. Whoever they got writing it is is. Well, this sounds like so this is exactly this is the dream, guys. Oh, uh, all right, uh, gentlemen Whoa. in chat right now. Whoa. This is what we need to watch. Wow. Wow. Anyways, we can relate. To I'm it. hating just... on everything this week, but <laughs> bear with me. Bear with me. Let me. I'll be quick. I'll be quick. Oh, he man. he comes back with a comic book that looks like her katana girl is the name of the book and she looks like katana girl and it tells the story of him of her going inside of um her dad's um the, who mysteriously disappeared they didn't say it but he mysteriously disappeared and find the sword under his like study and when she opens the sword she gets ported to um a, she becomes a samurai right but when she does it in the show, she gets ported to a like video game like world and literally CGI like something out of a play, the PlayStation era. All right, what might I type into YouTube to see it? I don't know. I don't know. Something out of the place. Put it in Katana Girl, maybe. 
PlayStation era. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I you got, got it. it. That, it worked. Send me the link. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, here we go. Um, um, and it's the most awful thing. I'm like, I'm okay with it. It just everything together was just kind of, kind of uh, weird. Um, what do you? I, I'm gonna. I'm, once we get to the the Q and A section, you guys can yell at me what, what you think about the show. But uh, for people who um, who are watching the VOD right now, at least you'll get to see this um, <laughs> of what happened. Okay, so she holds the sword way in her hand. She opens it, and then she gets teleported. This, this right here. It doesn't look as bad as it she could. She has so much makeup on, by the way. Yeah. It's outrageous. She, she doesn't look as bad as it could be, but it's, um, it's a, it was just a bit weird. It's just a bit weird that she just uses a sword and she has to save her dad. So her dad is inside of there. And I guess it could be cool and outrageous. So if you like unique shows, then you might want to check it out. For me, I don't know. I don't know if I... I, 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 I watched how um, the oh, first... Oh, that is so... Okay. I watched how heroes um like fell down into just a depression state. Okay, like it, it like the show literally got depressed during the last couple seasons. Okay, and I just don't see it. Don't see it coming. That's an interesting way of describing a show. I like it. Yeah, I don't, I just I with the first couple episodes, I just don't see it being good. I feel like it's gonna fail. Like it did Do you know what this time. is like? This is like a CGI cutscene from a '90s game. Yeah, 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 yeah. The PlayStation. That's what it's like. Yeah, I, I mean, the only thing that could save it is that Chuck is in it, okay? And whoever who likes Chuck, guys, Chuck, Chuck was an amazing show, okay? Miranda from Mass Effect was in Chuck, okay? Automatically good, automatically, guys, ladies and gentlemen, automatically good. Anyways. Anyways, I, I have a show thing as well. All right, very go briefly ahead. before the Q and A, uh, Fear the Walking Dead finished. Do you want to know whether you whether you're ever going to bother with it? Yeah, of course I'm going to bother with it. All yeah, right, well the, the series is over now. Okay. The series is done. The whole way through, it's you know, like, do you remember I said that one of the actors, the the mom actor in it, is really bad. I don't know if you remember. I said that she was pretty terrible. She gets better. She gets a lot better. She doesn't uh -huh. offend me at all in it anymore. So she's a lot better. She's not so bad. They set up some interesting ideas with the show. Um, but it's not that great in my opinion. Like the last episode's really good. You know, it gets all explosive and everything comes to a head and it's pretty interesting. But overall, the show, I don't know. I feel like it needs some some different direction or a bit more of a budget. Because at the moment it's just it's not quite doing it for me. I think the main problem with Fear the Walking Dead at the moment, I said this last night when I watched the finale, is you know, you know, you know, Walking Dead, right? Is, is there's a few themes to the show. What would you say, like the show generally is kind of about? Um, the people Walking surviving. Dead. People surviving. Surviving, yeah. And and so what is, what does that mean in a zombie apocalypse? What do you mean? Well, so it, like I would say, a theme of The Walking Dead is like losing your humanity, right? Oh, and your, yeah, and you see right? that, yeah. Mm. And and it's kind of it's all about like doing bad stuff, but to survive, and it doesn't matter because it's become a dog eat dog world. People and change, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's who loses their humanity first, right? These are like big themes of the show, and we've seen that idea of people changing, of people you know doing messed up stuff to survive and stuff. We've seen that, uh, you know. 50 Ways to Sunday. We've seen it a million different times on regular Walking Dead. And Fear the Walking Dead is kind of already doing the same stuff. It's basically, I mean, it's a zombie, it's a zombie show. So, like, obviously it's going to do some. But I feel like now whenever I see in the Walking Dead, you know, like, there's a character who doesn't like guns, right? And, like, you're like, oh, we're going to have a plot where they slowly learn to care about guns. And they learn to get their hands dirty. There's literally an episode where they say to a character, oh, you're never going to get your hands dirty. And in the end, they beat the poo out of someone and, oh, their hands are dirty. And they linger on their, his hands for a little while. It's like, oh, their hands are dirty now. Oh, right. Like, and that would have been cool. But I've just watched like <laughs> hours upon hours upon hours of regular Walking Dead. So I feel like Fear the Walking Dead, while it's kind of OK, it's an all right show. I'm a right. little bit worried that people get bored of it because it's kind of just doing the same thing. Except this time it's set on a desert and they're going to do a plot about a boat. Right. Like instead mm. of, you know, in the middle of, you know, Atlanta, in the middle of, you know, the it's toned down, basically. Yeah. So it's like I, I, I like or I what kind of wanted, you know, what I kind of wanted from Fear the Walking Dead. If you see the intro of that show, dude, 
it is a terrifying intro to a show. It's like this hand slashes onto the face and there's like a scream and it's all messed up and it's like, fear the walking dead lights are flashing. It's scary, right? Yeah. Well, I want, and, and it's got the word fear in the title. So what I kind of wanted fear the walking dead to be is regular walking dead is kind of much more like philosophical to me now. And it's more about like long-term survival and it's about resource management. It's about, you know, viewing uh, people that you're with as like tools for survival, like this person's fit so they can get this, this person's got medical experience, blah, 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 right? It's like about long-term survival now. And the zombies themselves aren't scary. There isn't necessarily much fear in that show. And a lot of the time now with The Regular Walking Dead, when there's fear, it's coming from other people, right? Like you end up becoming scared of people rather than zombies. What I wanted Fear The Walking Dead to be was like scary. I wanted it to have more of that horror. And it seemed like maybe they were trying it, but the show isn't scary at all. Not even remotely. To me, it feels kind of wow. like a, like a film student at university was given a lot of money and they love Walking Dead. So they're like, I'm going to make a Walking Dead homage. Homage, right? And then that, that's, and then that, this is what they made. And so like, I was kind of hoping it would do things a little bit different. It's not to say it's a terrible show. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10 by the end. Mm. But, but, and there's a cool character as well. There's a really cool character towards the end who's acted a bit badly. But yeah, so I, I would give it a shot, man. I'm interested to see what you think. But that's now over. So that's basically the main show I've been watching. Yeah, I, I just finished uh, The Wire, and we, we we watched a couple movies. Watched some Key Key and Peele in between stuff, and, and we Key and Peele to... is like your jam, dude. <laughs> dude, dude, the new season is so good. They got rid of that whole bit where they talking in front of an audience like Dave Chappelle, and they just they just did all skits the whole the whole show, and it's it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the new season is just so like on point. Um good good for them because I mean there's not there's not much there's not many comedians that make me laugh anymore. So um not like the old days, I guess. Um I mean I mean I did you're getting old and cynical, man. Yeah, I guess from this episode you would think that. But Nothing I think I like a lot of I like a lot of bad stuff. So it all depends. Um it all depends on what type of bad it is. Yeah. Um and what, what if there's other shows that can fill that gap as well? Like, why would I be watching this when I could be watching this? You know, I was like, ah, I give the first episode a try. And it's like, ah, OK, if it's just a, you know, it, like a lot of a lot of the shows are getting are trying to capitalize on this whole like, oh, we can show boobs now and stuff like that. And so many shows are like that that I've gone through so many. And it's just like my friends like, yo, dude, you got to watch this. And I'm like, it's basically boring. <laughs> I don't want to watch porn. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Even if it's all sausage. If it's all sausage, then I might. I might. Wow. Well, there you go. You're talking like um, Kevin Bacon right now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That video With I an Infinity you. Stone on the end of your wiener. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good video. That was a good video because it, it's, it's probably true. A lot of actors actors will, and actresses probably do don't, you know, don't really think of their bodies in the way that other people think, you know, and they, they don't care about showing a little bit of skin and stuff like that. I mean, it all depends yeah. on the actor, obviously. Um, and automatically we all, we're like, Oh, they're forced to, to show skin or blah, blah, blah. Or they're forced to do it just because they want to make their career, which is sometimes true, which kind of sucks, but you know, it's whatever. Anyways, anyways, let's do some questions, guys. Let's do some questions. Um, question. We're Question supposed to do. Time. We're Who's supposed listening? to do Maple Story, but is down for maintenance. So, um, well, we'll look, I've got the patch up. I kind of want to run it. I'm gonna try running it. Okay. All right, everyone. Who, if you want to ask us a question, uh, put it down below uh, at Matt Visual or at Winnie Patel, so it can show up in black in the chat, so we can answer it. Uh, someone said before, um, was uh, Hero Season One the only season you enjoyed? No, I enjoyed many of them. I didn't enjoy the last two seasons. Probably because uh, there were like five seasons in all, I think. Um, it got very depressing. Like, Peter never got his powers back. It was the most depressing thing. Like, the, the show was a pain to watch, almost. And I, I really enjoyed that show. Yeah, sure, not everything was perfect. And not everything has to be. Um, but, yeah. It's uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 everyone agrees. Like, there's no one who says, I enjoyed Heroes all the way through. No one says that. No one. I've not met one soul. I'm pretty sure what someone in was, chat yeah, now, you're not going to say that at all. At all. You would probably really? don't even, you probably stop at like season three or four. Yeah, How many seasons were there? I think there were five. I think five there were five. Seasons. If they're not, if not, it was four. Definitely four. If not. Mm -hmm. Um, 
watch Vikings. I'll try. I'll try. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll slice it in there. I'll slice it in there, man. Maple Story's totally up. I know you probably don't have it set up, but sadly it is up. Um, I do have it up. I do have it set really? up. Really? Yeah, I do have it set up. I remember You've got my the new launcher and everything. New launcher? Yeah. Well, I mean, I loaded it up with it, so I'm pretty sure. I guess I do have the new launcher. Oh, man. This is um, crazy. All right. Um, let's do you see. want me to pick questions? What, what's going on? A show f- for have you watched forever? I've never heard of forever. Sounds me neither. Sounds familiar, but I don't think I've ever heard of that. I'll look it up. You are you and Matt are aware that Visual Wood sounds like the name of a seventies porn show, right? Lol. That that one coming we, in from Twitter. We've been aware since episode one. Yeah, episode one actually the very start of this podcast opens with me in the middle of saying. Um, I don't know about the name Visual Wood. And you're like, what are you talking about? We'll yeah. call it Visual Wood. It's fine. Yeah. And we and then yeah, it was Visual Wood officially. There you go. There you go. It was Matt's idea, by the way. Matt Matt is the genius behind Visual Wood. Hundred percent. The genius, huh? Yeah, genius. genius. I, I wouldn't consider a genius. Um Genioso. Uh you have an you have an echo gambling problem? Ecto gambling. Yeah, on the stream today. Today, I had the most viewers on a stream I've ever done that wasn't reliant on a beta. I had more people watching me today than I had people watching me when I fought Zaitan on a permadeath character. Do you know why? Oh, why? Because I was, I threw uh, 500 gold at ectoplasm gambling, which ArenaNet added back in like February or something. And uh, I pretty much lost it all. Wow. So, uh, so, so there you go. People like ch- people tuned in to watch me lose all of my money. Uh, and everyone uh, was how many saying, ectos, how to ectos did you have? Well, I had 500 gold. It was 550 gold, and I spent all 550 gold on ectos. And then what you do is you trade 250 ectos, a stack of them, plus 100 gold for one item in return. And when you double click that item, you could either get nothing back, basically, or you could get as high as 2,500 gold. Right, Jeez. you could get two thousand five hundred gold if you do it. So I, I, I dedicate. I spent a hundred gold plus a whole stack of ecto. Got the item, double clicked it, basically lost all my money. Then I did it again, basically lost all my money. Then I did it again, and I earned quite a good amount, which was good. And then I did it again, and basically lost all my money. Wow, no, that was basically, that was basically the the experience. <laughs> You, you, you. I, I want you to answer this because I'm, I'm gonna answer it wrong. Um, have you seen yeah. Strip and Streaming Guild Wars two recently? A good inflow of new players. Yeah, this is Sam Strippin, uh, affiliated with the Yorkscast, is he? Mm, he's sort of. Yeah, he still is. Yeah, he kind of does his own like, thing though. I've, I've been watching him for a while. Yeah, but and he, he's the guy that. Uh, I used to watch Dodger and Press Art continue a long time ago now, I guess. She always used to be really cagey about relationships she was in, always kept it very much about the games. But at some point recently-ish, they ended up becoming an item. It was like the two YouTubers got together or whatever. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't watched her since maybe four months before that all happened. And then later I, I like clicked a random video and I was like, oh, damn, this is like to- her channel's totally different now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's really all I know about the guy, to be honest. I would have thought that someone who was so ingrained in various YouTubing communities would, would have pulled much more viewers. I think it's kind of sad that Guild Wars 2 is so small that someone like that can come and stream and only get a thousand people interested. But I think it's cool. There is a part, I mentioned on my stream, right? There's always a part of me, I always feel a bit iffy and weird when someone who doesn't understand the game but nonetheless has a big following comes over. Part of it's going to be jealousy that they're very successful doing something they don't understand. Part of it's going to be fear that they uh, misinform people and don't do a good job. Um, you know, there, there's like weird stuff there, but I do believe in general it's a good thing, right? And it's probably a good sign for the community. It's a healthy thing if people are coming around. But I don't think it's a huge deal, basically, either way you look at it. I've barely watched the streams. I clicked for maybe like 30 seconds on one of them and clicked off it. Just because yeah. I was curious. Um, I... I... Oh, because someone plays the game, it doesn't change anything. Um, it, people have always played Guild Wars 2. In the beginning, Yazcast was playing the, the, the Guild Wars 2. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're playing the game. 
What matters is that people actually like the game that they're playing and that they stay. It does not matter that a big guy comes over. Every time a big guy comes over, people lose their crap because the community is so damn small. Um, yeah. But it, it doesn't matter. Like all those, all that hype train and all that stuff at launch, where did they all go? They all left. Now, what what's going to keep them and what's actually going to grow the game? Not YouTubers, not us, not WP, if the game is actually How good. dare you? It's, it's, we, it's, I mean, it, I just got to say, it's the, the facts. If the game is actually good, you know what I'm saying? If Hot makes the game a lot better than, than, than it is now, because the game right now is a little bit bare, if it makes it the way it should be at launch, then, then, and only then, uh, that influx of players will actually stay, okay? Yeah. All right. So you, as you realize, his views have gone down. I watched Strippin', so I know like his views have gone down. So, um, it used to be way bigger before, and now now it's down because wait, wait, probably what? people Did don't want to. Yeah, show? yeah. But he's always gotten. He's always those. he's always gotten like around two k ish. You know, oh, sometimes okay. he goes up, but two k ish. But yeah, anyways. Um, you got one? Uh, yeah, sorry. I was trying to enter my Maple Story pin, but I, I don't know what I changed it to. So I, even though it's up, I actually can't get in. Um, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Hello. Questions. How would I feel about a mechanic in a raid encounter that swapped you and another party member's character for some, some short time? It'd be okay. A very specific idea, but they could have that in an encounter, right? I guess on this podcast, we never... Should we tell people what happened in the week? Because... Podcast only listeners won't won't have known that you know we had a pretty cool stream during the week. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we streamed guild um raids like yeah the raid from, beta raid beta. And I I mean I guess we have more time since we're not playing playing Maple Story this week. Um, yeah, we played the raid beta and it was pretty good. Um, we I think we both did videos on it and we both had our own opinions about how it is. I mean, I mean yeah. for me, I thought it was. I thought it was a pretty good step in the right direction. I'm glad it wasn't, you know, face roll easy. I definitely yeah, I like can see that, myself actually. beating it with a better group, obviously. Um, yeah. You know, I like, like that on your video, you said that you, as much as you wanted it and as much as you tried, and we all tried, I liked that you said, actually, all things considered, I kind of like that I never made it in the end because we there wasn't any communication. They were just random people, and if we had beaten it, it probably you probably would have reflected on it later and thought, "Hey, it's probably a bit easy." Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it, I feel like anything would become. It's just like the when I was playing Transformers Devastation on hard, I beat. I I was beating. I've been beating these bosses is because I learned the encounter. Um, and yeah. then you just learn how to defeat it. Like it, if it's Guild or Shoes raids are well designed, I should be able to do the same. And other people who kind of are a little bit better at games will be able to do it. You know, <laughs> pretty easy. You know, not to say our group was bad. Um, just like, you know, everyone has to be on point. And I think that's the perfect way to have a raid is that everyone has to be on point. There's no lazy people. You have to avoid the blue rocks. You have you if you're on orange, uh, blue lightning. You have to be there. You have to be focusing, and mm -hmm. being so focused while you're playing the game, um, you know whatever you're you're tanking or you're healing, um, it should, it, it, it you you'll be more satisfied at the end for beating it, and you, you know um, enjoy the encounter a lot more than just like sitting there pressing one two one two one two. Even though the revenants are just, just sitting there pressing one. And dodging. How dare you? What are you talking about, dude? Ridiculous damage! Holy crap! I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I man. I was doing tw a twelve k on my, you know, great sword, uh, spin attack. You're doing like that on one hit, like. Pah, pah, yeah, we did thirty eight k on the five. I had no real interest to play Revenant or Herald until I played that with you, Holy and now I'm like, I really want to do that. <laughs> I really want to do that. And, but now they. <laughs> and as far as uh, raids, I would love it to be. Um, I would love it to be one tank, one healer, and uh, I heard they're making change to the to the ranger um, druid. They're, they're, to, so that they have to use clerics. So right? they have to use clerics. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, one one tank, one healer, some condition damage, and some zerker. Or magi's or apothecaries or whatever. Yeah. Healing power, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. So condition damage and some damage, physical damage dealers. I love that mix. That mix is perfect for me. You know. Yeah. Is is perfect. What I, do you think about the middling stat sets, though? Do you think that celestial uh, and like soldiers 
and those uh, and uh, Cavalier, those really middle of the road stat sets, do you think they deserve a place in raids? Or do you think people should only min-max for their role? So, for example, the tank. Should the tank be allowed to go knights, which is sort of the middle of the road, or should they have to be nomads, which is full tank? Or, uh, you know, should the healer have to be pure, pure, pure healer, or could they be like, you know, middle of the road? Could you have two celestial guys or one DPS plus one raw healer? Do you know what I mean? I think, I think, think for the, I think, I think of course, like there's always that thing where, with a good group that never gets hit, you you can be you'll be able to do it on berserkers. No, everyone on berserkers and just burning down the boss. You know what I'm saying? If you like, you're like super pro or whatever. You know, but like I think for normal people and. Uh, for for Druid, for the healer specifically, I feel like there has to be somewhere in the game that clerics is needed. Like, there's no point to some of these gear sets. And yeah. they don't, they don't, because uh, they don't put a place for it. The game is so messed up when it comes down to gear sets and everything like that. And they're trying yeah, to fix it. Everyone's thing. so used to it already that it, it seems so weird. Like, what? I have to spend money and get, like, this ascended on this random you know stat like do i really need it you know it's it's so weird for them to change it that's why i was hoping that and i was sad for the raid in the beginning when people were saying that was easy i was like dude they have to beat it in through people's minds right now that this is the way to run this is the way guild wars 2 is going to be uh be for now on instead of it being like oh Oh, it was already easy, and then like when launch comes, all of a sudden it's hard. Like it, it needs, I don't know. Like, it, it, ooh, how do I explain this properly? It, it's it's one of those. It, I don't know how I feel about being able to defeat a boss using Zerkers and then going back and them changing it later for me to be having to use a tanky. Another set. I see yeah. what you're saying. I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, and it mm. has to. It has to make sense. It can't be like, oh, they're just doing, they just add this mechanic on purpose that I, uh, the tank so has to be to able grind. to take hits. Yeah. You know, I, no, 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 no. I, I feel Start like. off on the right foot. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Um, yeah. Like great. I heard, well, one person put it quite interestingly. I think a lot, for, for Guild Wars 2 being a game that so heavily tries to make everyone can play how they want to play. It seems so bizarre that we've got kind of this weird situation where the vast majority of stat sets are just not allowed to be played. Do you know what I mean? Like, because they're just that useless. Because they and there's good reason that they're not played, and those need reasons need to be addressed. So I, I was happy to see the mix. To go back to what we were originally saying, I like the mix of you know, five, uh, five flat damage guys, two condi guys, a support guy, and and a, a healy guy. There's something like that. You know, like five flat damage, th uh, four condi, or something like that. Like I like it. You know, there's a split. There's that distinction. Everybody's got like a different way of doing things. For um, for some interesting, I thought I, this would be might be interesting to you, Matt. Um, now this is just wild speculation, so don't take it as anything super seriously. But um, I asked one of the guys from D and T, Nike. Some of you guys might know him, who's okay with the maths, I think, or at least talks to the guys that do a lot with the maths and so forth. Um, I, I was curious about something. So they gave us eight minutes in this encounter to do 22 million damage to the boss, right? That was the setup, Matt, yeah? Mm. Um, so those are the numbers that we had to do. Eight minutes to do 20 mil 2 million. And I asked, all right, imagine if this fight basically wasn't a fight. He was just like a dummy in the middle of the room. And he wasn't doing anything. The boss just stood there, all right? And you could have the perfect comp for damage. Like, what is the absolute max damage you could push out? So our problem was we were slow, slowly wearing him down, right? Yeah. How quick, in theory, if you had the right 10 players all playing perfectly, how quick do you think you could kill that boss? Man, all damage? Yeah, what, what do you think? Like, it, 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 So these are the perfect I, damaging builds. I think we would be able to kill it pretty quickly. Uh, I would say probably... Three to four minutes. Okay. The numbers of it, uh, you know, spitball in here, but mm -hmm. probably a very good ballpark. It's around 250,000 damage per second. So if he has 22 million health, in four seconds, you get through 1 million health. All right. So in 40 seconds, oh, you wow. get through 10 million health. Wow. And so in about a minute and a half, you can kill the boss. Boom. Wow. Also, by the way, at 250,000 damage a second, if you could fight Lupicus, you'd kill Lupicus in five seconds. 
Wow. With, without any other crazy cheesy stuff. How insane is that? Think about that. Think about how much we could have min-maxed there. Like, in theory, if there was no other mechanics to deal with, right? Yeah, which there yeah, are, yeah. which obviously sets you off. But just think about that. And how bad we were struggling to slow... You, you'd watch his health bar melt. You'd have him phase. Uh, you'd get him to 66% health before, like, what, with nine minutes... With, uh, like, seven minutes still on the clock. Like, in the first minute of the encounter, you'd have him phase. How crazy is that? So, like, there's a lot that you can push your guilds to. Um, and there's, you know, that's really interesting. It's nice to see the heights that we can climb to. And, you know, when people say it's just the first encounter, take that seriously. There's, there's, there's a big climb. You can go beyond that. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I would yeah. like to see, um, after a while when people get familiar with it, how fast we can kill that boss. You know, I, I, I would love to see something like that. Like the, the maximum way to do that. I love seeing stuff like that. Um, see one of, one of the highest damage builds in the entire game at the moment is a Condi build. It's Sinister Engineer. And uh, because they have like a billion skills, they get really, really great benefit out of Alacrity, mm. which the Chronomancers can push out, which drop all their cooldowns. So like if you do the right combos and you have basically tons of those, they're just putting out like hundreds of thousands of damage. It's just sick. It's disgusting. Um, so anyway, um, that was kind of our raid discussion, I guess. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Matt only stops being veggie when it's for porn. <laughs> I think he's talking about the sausage comment. That's that's hilarious. Um, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, if they announce another Avatar TV series, would you watch it? Absolutely, absolutely. Just because I'm a fanboy, uh, even though Legend of Korra wasn't the best in the beginning, it got a lot better, a lot better. Especially the ending, though. The ending, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, one of the lesbian kiss. Yeah. yeah. Oh, spoiler. What's wrong? How's it? Everybody knows that. I don't even watch the show. I don't even know who Cora is. Oh my god. Or Akira, or whoever it is she kisses. I don't know, man. Oh, and now you're saying names now. Oh god. Is Akira okay. the right name? Is I, that it? I, I don't. I don't remember to be honest. <laughs> I don't think it's Akira though. Ikea, <laughs> or whatever you're saying. Ikea. Uh, will you yeah, be attending Pack South? Ugh. Um, money, money. I, I'm, I, I do not sadly have the money to do that, man. No, man. I would love to, though, because uh, a lot of cool people go there. Especially cool, yeah, cool people like know. you guys. Yeah. I love meeting you guys at, at cons. It's, it's been an interesting experience. Uh, oh, apparently they didn't even kiss at the end, Cooper. No, they just hold, They just held hands, man. And they they leaned in softly a little bit. Or the camera oh, zoomed up. Oh, that's so heartwarming. Oh, it was great. It was a great scene. It was a great scene. And it's funny because I was telling my wife, I was like, they're totally gonna. There's they're, they're something going on there, dude. There's totally something going on there. Joking with her, and she's like, "I'll oh, be quiet." And then at the end, she flips. <laughs> she flips because she knows what I'm gonna say, and it was the be one of the me best moments of me watching shows with her. It's just she's like, "What? No, no, don't say it. Don't." Say it. Oh, it was great. It was great. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Matt, do you want to make a cooking show in the future? I. I I've done it before, but it I would love to actually do it. Like, oh, this is interesting. Is are these comments about Jennifer Hale? Maybe is this maybe a bit of professional rivalry? Because you've you've been in the kitchen in the camera as well. No, I you would know? love to do it. I would love to do it. If, if Anet says, "Yo, I want you to do a a cringy cooking show," I would totally sign up for that. Oh, would you? They wouldn't I? need That's to amazing. pay me. They wouldn't even have to pay me. Why would they pay me? But yeah, what if you had to pay to get flown out? Oh damn, that's that's a lot of money. You know how much? All right. To, I seen Would the you pay hundred dollars to go do a cooking show with them? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I might. You you you'd pay a hundred dollars to go well, do they're, a cooking they're, show. They're, they're, those guys, those camera guys, that costs money. That costs money. Like if I'm, you know, I would pay it. A hundred dollars. That's like that's a steal. Just because I just like fun stuff. I like videos, and that's. That's kind of why the YouTube thing is fun. It's because, you know, you enjoy the, the making process and the, the, the laugh that you get from it, right? Yeah. I, I, I would love to, to, to be on that. That would be weird. Like, imagine, imagine people, me just popping up in the middle of TwitchCon with a cooking show. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I would, I would make it so cringy for everybody. Oh, I'd love to see you in a, one of those big cheesy chef hats. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just a really tiny chef hat, just like on my And head. just like a spatula in hand. Yeah, and a really tiny spatula. Yeah, yeah. Just flipping like little, little pancakes. Um, books. 
Have you tried the Battlefield uh, Battlefront beta? Um, <laughs> I said Battlefield. Ha <laughs> ha. That's, that's kind of the same thing. Um, I'm I am gonna try it uh, when it's released tomorrow. I think. Um, it, it, by the way, guys, you can try Battlefront for free tomorrow on if all you have to do is download the Devil's Origin. <laughs> download Origin, the Devil's program. Okay. All right. So, so we need the competition. Steam have better return policy practices now, specifically because they were competing with Origin. It's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, what else do we have? You have a couple more? Um, a lot of people saying about the exalted thing, but I've just recorded a whole video on it, guys. So expect it there. Because <laughs> uh, I just I literally I talked for like half an hour about it. It was a cool post. That's basically it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, will you get Steam OS Gamepad, Matt? Uh, oh, what do you think about the bag tax in the UK? The bag tax coming from in Fred, UK? Mr. Fred. Mm -hmm. I don't even know about bag tax. You see, you see, Fred. He he just, he's just oblivious. He's bag oblivious tax. of what's happening in his own country. Oh, what is this? Carrier bag charges retailers responsibilities. He must charge at least five pence for single-use carrier bags in England from fifth of October two thousand fifteen. If you're a large retailer, that's fine. I think that's absolutely okay. Because they're damaging to the economy and they're stupid and you should use reusable bags anyway. I've been using reusable bags for years. I think it's fine. I'm happy that my uh, country's been a little bit cr progressive there. There you go. That's my opinion, Kupo. Well, you got any questions? It, it, that sounded a little bit natural there, Kupo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying it. I've been trying it. <laughs> black, white, black, or milk chocolate? Ugh, milk, milk chocolate. chocolate. Milk no, chocolate. Be white. Mm. Drippy drip drip. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I hate you, you and your mic. How do you do that? Drippy drip drip. It's it, it's my voice, dude. Just like last time. Drippy drip drip. I can just drippy, do it. I can just drippy, do it. Drippy drip drip. Maybe I should just talk. Yeah, like I told <laughs> you. I told you. You have to punch your neck, and break um, your voice. I am punching my. Neck. I am. And then and my then neck. get and then get surgery and then do it again and then do get, it into the camera for me on the stream so I can see. So we can get this live action going on. Drippy drip drip. It's oh, just changing yeah, my yeah. voice. That's it. It's not that serious. And there's many people who could do. It's Both super voices. serious. Huh? Hmm? This is super serious. WP ain't got no bass. I am more about the treble than the bass. It is it's all true. about the bass, WP. All about It's all about the, the treble. Yeah. It, the treble is nice too, but I like a little bit of both, if you know what I mean. I actually, bass annoys me now because I'm so ingrained in being scared I'm going to upset my neighbors or people sleeping and stuff. That oh, we just I changed subjects, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, ba bass is annoying when you have neighbors. Um, now I can put up, I can put up my uh, speakers um, really loud when I'm watching all my shows and, and movies and stuff now that I have my own place. So Do we good. miss Constable Zellner, Matt? Um, Constable Zellner. Why does that sound familiar? It's because you spent a long time with Const Constable Zellner with me once upon a time. Oh, yeah? Who's long... Constable Zellner? Come on, think about it. Dang it, man. That sounds so dang familiar. Holy think crap. Who is Constable I I digest Zellner. too much media. media. Zellner! Does that tip you off a little? No, it doesn't. What about... um? I can't. Think, I can't remember the name of any other characters. What about the Baroness? The, whoa, the Baroness! That was, just yeah, tell me. Maybe. Just tell me. No, <laughs> is it? Are you in that weird place where it's on the tip of your tongue and you're like, I'm yeah, it's just like, why can't I think of it? It's pissing what about, me off. What about yeah. what about what about Adil? Adil was one of them as well. Oh my god! Oh my okay. gosh! You're making it worse. You're making yes, it worse. Good, good. I'm just it just worse. say it. Just say it. it just say the show or game. Um, it's, uh, The Raven. Oh, yeah, <laughs> why? One of my favorites. Oh, my gosh. Why wouldn't I? The Baroness. We were playing as Zona. The Baroness. Yeah. Yeah. There wow. we go. Wow. <laughs> I hate All that. Right. It's like, it's like the brain. It's just like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to give it to you. No, 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 no. No. Uh, want, how high of a voice can you make, Matt? <laughs> I, I, it, right, I, right, right. If I do, if I do a certain type of voice, it it will sound a lot better. I, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
we sound like idiots. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. That's the end of the podcast. <laughs> uh, um, how, how, how long do you think hot will keep people entertained? Um, it has wow. it has to be long. I would say longer. Longer. Um, I think more. Hmm. I don't know because I don't know what's in it, but I'm gonna say it would be better than launch of Guild Wars Two. It's gonna be better than the launch for one big reason. That big reason is we all know going into it that just three weeks after it's out, there's an update, mm-hmm. which adds the raids. So even if you can complete the hot, which you will be able to, you complete a ton of your masteries and all the personal story and you explore all the new maps in a week, which you will, you'll be done in a week. Even casual players, I think, will be done in a week. Even in that situation, a lot of us will stick about because we want the raids and people will start working on their masteries. They'll have that going for them. And, you know, there'll be a new profession if they want and there'll be new elite specs and stuff. So hopefully that stuff combined will mean people stay longer. But, you know... Yeah, a long time ago I said um if th- these these living world story things suck as updates and they really need a if they add new maps, they have to do uh mechanics on the maps and and make it worth it to play in them and stuff like that. And I, if they land that, which they say they're they're doing stuff like that, they land that, then more people will continue to play and you know, it, hopefully they add other like the adventures and stuff like that. That's adding stuff to the map. And I know, you know, having them. Oh, you can only play play the adventures at day. is just a way for you to continue playing. And that's mm-hmm. why it sucks. Um, Yeah. But yeah. Next question. Have you seen the Misfits? Uh, no, I have not. It sounds familiar. Every time I hear Misfits, I think about uh, Jaden Smith. Uh, wow. Yeah. Um, And his new hit hit new single. Um, if space had clouds, do you feel bad for Jaden Smith because, um, like basically he's like a sixteen-year-old that everyone's looking at? We were all idiots when we were sixteen, right? Yeah, we yeah we talked about the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that it, it's it's he's a child, and he has a millions of people watch. Uh, you know, seeing his tweets. So of course, it, people are gonna make fun of him. Matt, are you gonna play Kingdom Hearts three? Before Kingdom Hearts 3, are you going to play all the other Kingdom Hearts games? Of course. Absolutely. All right, so tell me through what that means. That means there's a lot of them on there. That means I have the collection editions right there on that shelf. Really? That... Go get them. Uh, no. I'm, oh. I'm, no, I'm just... It's, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll show you, I'll show you off screen. I'll that have a private, now, private live, live but, uh, okay, chat. Okay, so the reason, why, the reason I wanted to ask, though, is it, cause isn't, isn't it weird now? Because there's, like, final mixes, and aren't there, like, weird DS games or something? Or, like... Yeah, they're like all... A PSP game or something? There's, like, loads of weird They're ones, all right? on PS3, on those remixes. They're all on... That's what the remixes are. They're putting all that crap on the phones and on the DS and the PSP. They're putting it all... On um well a couple discs that you have to buy because you know they like to steal money away from Kingdom Hearts fans. So okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Basically, I mean, come on, why would they put all their games on multiple? Like it's just a mess. I don't, I do not see. I see what they're doing and it's bad. Um, anyways, uh, Layers of Fear. I don't know. I don't know. It's another scary game. Should I just should I just quit what I'm doing? Quit reviews, everything, and just play scary games for the rest of my life. I'll probably. Yeah, it seems a lot. It seems I'll a lot prob- of people do have fun success with that. Yeah, yeah. I bet I'll get way more views than I'm getting now. I'll tell you that. But I, it's it. If it was about that, then I'll be doing Guild Wars Two every day. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, well, I'm offended by that. <clears throat> you, sh- you shouldn't because it wasn't for you. It was for me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't for you. Um. It, that's why when I when it came out my mouth, I was like, oh no, that's not. It wasn't meant to be for WP. Um, Winning potatoes, wedges. Oh, Winning potato wedges, dude. They, someone took your name, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen wedges. What's up, going on? What's going on, wedges? Oh, more more gambling. What's up, dog, I th- I think we reached the end of the well. I think we have you. Do you see any more questions? No, mostly mostly. Uh, well, apparently it's time for you to cut your hair. What do you think about that? Yeah, no, it's going wild, right, ladies and gentlemen? It's going wild, right? I like the wild look. You're going Tarzan on us. Yeah, man, it's it's going really wild. Um, I don't know. I'm I I I just don't want to go to a barbershop. And I know in order to get a good haircut, I have to go to the barbershop because I don't know how to cut hair. But 
Yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of lazy. Anyone lazy out there? Raise your hands. Raise your hands in real life. Is you on the bus? Raise your hands right now. Hold it up there for a little bit. Then put the uh, take take your uh, index finger and rub inside of your hand. While hey, can like, I ask you a question? Yeah, just rub it. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On our face cams, right? <laughs> on the overlays around our face cams, right? Why does that say Pathos Two underneath? Yeah, this is from Soma. It's from Saber, is it? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 It's a cool little thing there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. No, no, this was actually from Randy. Uh, he reviews games. Uh, Eldergeek.com. Some of you guys may have learned uh, learned of him from his uh, Get Off My Lawn series. That one was pretty popular. And um, he made this for a podcast. We were me, uh, Bunny Hop, and him you know we do like a a spoiler talk sometimes and we just sit down and complain about reviewing games and stuff like that and uh he made these these little boxes with a tv filter on top of it and i just he he sent it to me because i was like dude give me that i I want it i want it i've been looking for an actual good um overlay for my camera and i'm like (laughs) this is perfect perfect. and plus i love soma like i i the more i think about the game the more i really like the game and, and i respect it it Yes. Really? Yeah, because yeah, the gameplay is not my thing, but the game is just really good. Just really good on so many different levels. Even on a basic level, it's a good, good game. But yeah, 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 yeah. So, so anything else? Anything else you want to say to the to the peoples? To the peoples? To the peoples? Well, the... just uh, just to make sure you put us in your schedule, and to next week we'll be playing some Maple Story, I think probably. Probably. Hopefully, it won't be down and stuff, and it'll be pretty cool. I'll figure out what my pin is, and, and then, uh, and yeah. Oh, also for people who are asking about Until Dawn, yeah, I was thinking about streaming that. Um, I would, ha- I would definitely have to buy the game. I can't red box that because waiting every week, um, going going to to get it from red box every week that would be ridiculous. But yeah, if I get the game, the only way for us to actually stream to Wet and Potatoes without any lag is to put this webcam in front of my screen i think that's the only way for him to get the actual like are you really thinking about setting that up i don't know is it worth it though we we have other have games you ever play. played with the concept before uh with putting a webcam on the screen so you have yeah. no delay yeah uh, i don't know because there's no there other was this way. guy there mm-hmm. was this one of, when back when i first got into uh, into let's playing one of the biggest let's players out there was this guy called dsp gaming i'm sure he still does it but he would put up hundreds of videos a day or like well no like 20 videos a day 30 videos a day and the entire way that he recorded was he had a camera pointed at his tv and you couldn't even tell super well on youtube but he would just record it and he'd just click stop and record no editing nothing it was just like he'd just throw it up and then the next video, and then the next video, and then the next video, just playing constantly. How insane is that? So you, uh, you can get an okay quality. I just uh, it depends on the lighting and stuff, right? Oh my gosh! I uh, those days. Did you show me that? Because I feel like I've watched somebody with that. I've watched some yeah, old maybe. videos recently with like a guy just recording his screen, like this fighting game guy. Uh, I think it was a low tier god. He didn't have a capture card. Like I think it was like a year or two ago. And, you know, like where capture cards were rabid and he's like to record. He was just recording his screen. And I was just like, dang, this is some I didn't even know. I, I didn't even notice until like I was like, hold up, wait a minute. Like, it's so it's so weird, you know, because everyone has a way to capture their gameplay. Now, you don't see that lately. Yeah. To see someone that, it, you know, just, you know, like last year, it seems weird. But anyways, yeah. Apparently, people. Do, apparently, I shouldn't have mentioned DSP. People don't like him. Apparently, <laughs> DSP. Who's DSP? Yeah, oh, the, the, the guy, guy that I just talked to you about that, that filmed his TV. I never really watched him. I just knew what his technique was, and I thought it was pretty cool the way that he like had this very unique thing where DSP. he just put up an ungodly amount of content. DSP. It's not even the same channel he's on anymore. I don't think so. The old one in the thousands of videos he had. DSP Gaming. Oh, he's. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, why? Why don't they like him? He's playing Transformers Devastation. He, he must be a. Uh... He must, he must be, be cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can totally see him and judge him, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm watching him right now. He's live playing Battlefront. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Wow, that Thank plug. You. We can get a lot of money for that, right? We can go to him and be like, "Yo." Yeah. I don't. I don't think we're popular enough. Oh, damn. Anyways, guys. Um. 
thank you so much for watching every single week. We we we, we really appreciate it on the reels. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> for, for reals, Relentless man. sleeper. Oh my god, it's so funny. Relentless sleeper is so funny. The icon is so funny when it's being uh, is being done to someone else other than yourself, right? <laughs> as soon as that's in your chat for you, you're like, you mother. <sighs> Anyways, guys, we we love you all. <laughs> We'll see you uh, next time. SoundCloud, guess what? Uh, you get a proper ending. We're actually ending with you. All right, SoundCloud, we still love That's you. That's true. Yeah, you best appreciate this, SoundCloud. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for watching. We'll, Sky Thank we'll see you, you everybody. guys next week uh, for uh, some visual wood loveliness. Huh? Visual wood. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have a candle. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. I found the way to the gold. Pitfold by Activision. Quick, to the Atari video computer system. Uh, Here, show us. First, yeah. climb down the underground passage. Oh, yeah. Leap over scorpions. Oh, oh, set. Yeah. Swing up the small crocodile. Yeah. The gold. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Did I mention the carpets? <laughs> Pitfall, a jungle adventure game designed by David Crane from Activision. <laughs>